All right, we turn now to last night's congressional hearing of the new bipartisan House Committee on U.S. Competition with China. Last hour, we spoke with the ranking member on the panel, Democrat Raja Krishnamurthy, about the need to maintain diplomacy with Beijing while also holding the Chinese Communist Party accountable for its actions. We have to be very careful with the language that is used to describe the challenges that the CCP poses. But on the other hand, let's be also very clear that the CCP has crossed a number of lines recently. We need to continue to uh, provide them with accurate information about the consequences of actions they take and also look for ways to potentially engage them going forward on important issues of mutual concern. Joining us now, one of the witnesses from last night's hearing, Scott Paul. He's the president of the Alliance for American Manufacturing, a partnership of America's leading manufacturers and the United Steelworkers Union. So, uh, Mr. Paul, you say that um, the economic policies of the Chinese Communist Party present a clear and present danger to the American worker. Tell us what the danger is and what measures and moves you think need to be taken right now. Thank you, Mika. It is a danger in a number of different ways. First, over the last couple of decades, certainly in the industrial heartland, but also in communities across America, we've seen a lot of factory closures uh, as Chinese imports surged into the United States. Second, in many ways, we turned over the keys to the 21st century economy to the Chinese Communist Party. Intellectual property theft, uh, technology transfer, transfers. I think the lure of using China as a factory floor was too great for a lot of big companies. Uh, and so our consumers got cheap, uh, cheap T-shirts, but we're mm -hmm. behind uh, in a number of different technologies, and we've had to play catch up in a hurry. And the challenge, Mika, is that this is not simply a commercial business to business issue. Uh, every business in China is subservient to the Chinese Communist Party, has to answer to the government. We've seen that with TikTok, but that's true with manufacturers as well. So our technology is being utilized by China's military in a race. And so we just have to be careful. We can't do unforced errors. I think we have to have a smart policy. It includes some changes on trade. It includes making ourselves more competitive. But we, we definitely have to wake up to this challenge. Yeah. And you say that uh, while the Chinese Communist Party's policies have been destructive, our policies have, have made matters worse. Is that what you were just talking about? Or, or what, what other ways have we not been helpful to our own interests? And how can we change that? Yeah, I think for too long, and I, I, I'm, I'm certain that you've seen this as well, Mika, is that there was a lot of wishful thinking about China, that as we expanded trade, that China would become more open, more democratic, more market-oriented. And so for many years, uh, both parties, quite honestly, gave the Chinese mm -hmm. leaders the benefit of the doubt. That hasn't worked out well. I mean, we saw this shock, again, that has hit industrial heartland communities uh, and has really devastated them in a lot of social ways as well. And, and we're now dangerously behind on a lot of key technologies. We're playing catch up on solar, on batteries, on electric vehicle manufacturing, uh, artificial intelligence. The, the list is pretty big. And, and we've leveraged ourselves. Uh, a lot of medicine is made, made in China for which we depend. And we saw those shortages flare up during the pandemic. And so I'm glad lawmakers have a focus on that. I completely agree with the ranking member. Uh, Krishnamurthy, that this shouldn't be about Chinese people. This should not be about Asian Americans. This has to be directed at the policies of the Chinese Communist Party. But we have to understand that no one wants a Cold War, no one wants a hot war, but we're going to be in a serious economic uh, competition with China. And our policies now need to reflect that. They should not give the Chinese, Chinese Communist Party the benefit of the doubt, as we have in the past. President of the Alliance for American Manufacturing, Scott Paul, thank you very much for being on this morning. We appreciate it.